Welcome, and thanks for joining with AIP, the American Institute of Pyramid Research. We study pyramids around the world, especially in Egypt, with the belief they hold special wisdom. Please subscribe to our channel as we uncover long hidden secrets, explain sacred symbols, and demystify the world's greatest mysteries. Yeah. Always, especially in this group yeah. around this table. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so this one does. The song is called "Where's My Love." And I'll just get it rolling while we're talking here. I really like this musically too. But so the middle, because again, you know, you you've seen how you can do that, Will. You know, when you when you're looking at a, uh, you know, looking at a song, you can see how much is played and how much is to go. So I just wait until those are exactly the same. And I, I, I record what's being said. So the words is come home. The center of this song is come home. So does she know we think the same? So I'm thinking of I'm thinking of us and the people we're going to interface with today. That we're going to sociologically observe the people that are speaking Arabic. They're not from suburban, you know, America. That so the love is and so. Cold sheet. So it, it's his girlfriend. She's left his wife. Whatever. So it's like we've lost them. We, we've separated in humanity. We're, we're now this distance. The bed's cold. Mm -hmm. Searching low. So there's. So the come home, which is the center phrase. And you think, does she know that we bleed the same? Does she know we bleed the same? Like, don't you know we're all one? You know we're brothers. That, that that's what I'm thinking. Just come home. Just come home. That's it. Mm -hmm. See, that was right at the one, the one, for, for right the, at, the 42. You just heard it. So that's the center. That's the theme. And so yeah. the come home to me is, we're trying to reconnect. You know, these are our brothers, these people. And and so, and and you know, there are certain uh, demo demographic things that are different. These people speak with a the slang. These people like the, the guy she shat. So so part of the sociology is what. Are we sniffing out? Like at this point, what's here? Like physically, what are the signs? What are the statues? But also, what are the people? What's the vibe? You know. So yeah, what's the meaning too? Because for me, what I get from that of, of come home, it's kind of like like sage silent, right? The silent sage. It, it's that idea that there's something there written for us, and it, it's in the form of a structure. It's in the form of the people that are around us. In the form of the journey that it takes us on to go find it. So coming home is, is also this idea of like, let's all come together, share this information, share what we're all seeing and intuitively feeling about this, coming home. I, I think that's, that's yeah. a good, yeah. good mark for today. Yeah, and, and thank you, because I, I, I just meant to initially say what it meant to me why I put it on here, but obviously I want to, you know, see what it says to you, because that's that was the... So I, you know, I want to just start every morning like that, that we listen to the song, think about it, let it lead to what conversation it does, and then... Uh, yeah, and I, and I love the song too. I mean, it's just, I love the song, just the music. That's what usually attracts me first. It's like the Great Pyramid. It's so big, it attracts you. <laughs> then you start finding out pi, phi, square thing. But initially, you're just attracted. So you're attracted by the music, but then you start getting into the words and the stuff. The details. Yeah, yeah it's so. kind of like everything, right? There, there's there's merit to all art, and usually you're attracted just for some visceral reason, and then you start to analyze. Oh, well, the placement and like yeah. cropping and you know how how we do those things. You start to learn methods of Re-establishing. Okay, so here's here's the Great Pyramid. It's about it's near the thirtieth latitude. This is the scale. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's about the thirtieth latitude, and the passage is inside of it. And this is part of the find that Bob Crowley and I came to yesterday, the day before, about what's going on with with the Orion correlation theory and the stars. But that is the twenty-six degree angle. So you know, you know, you know all this stuff, Will. So that you got the pyramid. So the twenty-six degree angle is here's the you know this goes down to the mm -hmm. subterranean chamber. Then this is this is 26 degrees up, and then it, 26 degrees also on the uh, the king's chamber, and then here's the queen's chamber over there. So this is 26 degrees, uh, uh, and uh, and the and the downward is that's 26, that's 26. All right. So so if you take the Great Pyramid and you take a map and you draw 26 degree on a map. So this is a map of the world now. This is a map of the inside of the Great Pyramid. Now let's take a map of the world. Here's the Great Pyramid in the world on a map. So we're above it. Yeah, we're above it. We're above it. This is north. This is the 30th latitude line. If you take a 26 degree angle. It goes through Bethlehem, where Jesus was born, and 
Um, so I, I've known that for a long time. People that have studied have said that. I started to get into actually what Robert Grant did when he went through his, he got rejected by a bunch of people, it turned him inward. We got, when he got into his math and art side that he's into now. He was just an extrovert business guy. But that rejection from his, who we thought were his closest friends drove him inward. So now that we're getting the gift of the inward stuff that he's coming out with, that led him to, if you heard him talk about it, I had to go back and prove that one to one was two. He started back at zero. He, mm -hmm. he went back to kindergarten and mm -hmm. one plus one is two. And he said, okay, I got that. Now what's two plus two? It's four. Okay, I got that. He really did. I mean, that's the way he explains it. So I went back to say, you know what? I've just taken the word of all these people. Maybe that's not 26 degrees. We have Google Earth now. They didn't back there, these guys that, that came yeah. up with this. And I wasn't finding 26 degrees. Okay. And I thought, holy crap, I've set, set us birth and stuff. And then, and, and then uh, this lady in my area, if you, do, if you do a search right now, you do a Google search, you know, Bethlehem, Great Pyramid, her pictures will come up. You go to images. Uh, her name is uh, Helen, Helena Lehman, and she lives near me in Chicago. And so I, she's drawn some of the most beautiful maps that she drew herself that, that will come up on Google that showed the 26 degrees. So I contacted her and I said, Alina. Well, I, I had already contacted her when I realized that we were, she writes about Enoch a lot too. And so I'd already met with her. Then when I, this came up, I said, how did you get the 26 degrees, 18 minutes? Because that's what it is. It's 26 degrees, 18 minutes, 10 seconds. That's the actual angle. 26 degrees, 18 minutes, 10 seconds. And she's got that very accurately on her map, very beautifully done map. And, and uh, <clears throat> she said, well, I just got that from other people. So she's mm. just the author of the map. She's just been doing the same thing I do. And you just it's accept it's the, like, the telephone yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah. and that's on so many things. So Robert Grant was led back to square zero and then becomes you know, this brilliant mathematician because he started from the ground up. Mm -hmm. So I went in a search. So I, when I was in Panama, uh, the, the engineer told me, he said, talk to a pilot. They, they have a thing called bearings. They can help you because uh, I was thinking maybe Google Earth is spheroid. Maybe there's a reason why it's not coming to. So I contacted Don Fulton, a good friend of mine, who's a COPA pilot in Panama. And we had breakfast together. He more or less said, ah, that, that bearing thing, no, nah, I can't really help you. We, got, we do everything by instruments. We said, here's a guy, you know, Drake Sprague, who makes maps, and he does ever, works, works with the Aboriginal people and stuff. He goes out and he does all over the world. So I contacted Drake. He's a friend of Caleb's, my son. We met, had breakfast. He drew me a map. I gave him 40 bucks for it. He made a map from what I told him. I said, I want the Great Pyramid on there. I want Bethlehem on there. I want Jerusalem on there. And he so he made the map. He titled it Middle East, but all the time there's the Great Pyramid. But it's to scale and everything. Okay. And I did that 24 degrees. 24. 24. Man. So that which is way off of 26. Okay. Yeah. So so then I thought, okay, then I'm really I'm really been hoodwinked along with everybody else. But then I went back to Google Earth, and for some reason I was finding it. I was finding it everywhere. It is 26 degrees. I became like convinced, like this is Google Earth. That's 26. It is. And then I got my engineer friend in the Philippines, Bob Crowley, and he goes, that's 26. It's 26 point. Like it's it's. As a matter of fact, he was saying it's 26.5. So if you if you take you know minutes and seconds and put it to decimal, 26 degrees, 18 minutes, 10 seconds is 26.3. Okay. I can show you how you make that conversion, but it's 26.3. He was finding 26.5. So then I said, not only do I have to check this angle, which I had now done, and I think there's another reason why Drake Sprague's map is 24. I think they're, because I think in the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, and Luke have a different calendar than John. So in the Bible, there are two separate calendars and different things brought out. I think there's two separate measurements and they are re re resolved. Just like hmm. uh, Sacred Geometry Code says, the Great Pyramid is four sides, they're each a different length. Right. He says yeah. that's by design. Of course it is. That's not a mistake. People say, oh, they're off, you know, big structure, they're off by no. Yeah. That allows both pi and phi which are sort of incompatible in a sense. It's both a pie and a pie pyramid to, yeah. to coexist. And so, so I think there could be something with the 24 and the 26, but back to the, I became convinced it is right. And so now I really earned it. It's not me quoting a map like right. Lana Lehman. Put the just, work in to yeah, find but, out the like, real. It, it really is, it yeah. really does point. And Bob Crowley found it in, in the stars too. I'll show you that, the Orion stars, but that's, that's a different thing. I paid my price on this measurement but maybe it's not 26 degrees, 18 minutes in the Great Pyramid. Maybe that measurement is the one that's wrong. So Caleb, we got on his phone when I was in Panama so that he could have the phone. If it tells like that, that's 26, that's 20. So we, he's just going to put his phone down oh, okay. as we go up the passage. And, he, and, and he, in his book, I had the place for him to take the readings and stuff. So we're going to check and see what, because I found one on internet, you know, it's always been that they're the same, that the, the floor line in the first ascending passage is the same floor line as the Grand Gallery. So that's always been, they have the same angle. But I found one online that gave a slightly different 
angle for the, the, the Grand Gallery than it did for the first ascending passage. Really? So I thought, how did they get that? I've never, ever seen it. You can see that there is a slight difference in the angle of the first ascending passage in the Grand Gallery. Uh, the Grand Gallery, as you notice here with this uh, uh, sort of red colored star, is 26 degrees, 16 minutes, uh, 40 seconds, whereas the first ascending passage gives 26 degrees, 18 minutes, 10 seconds, which is the one that's usually given. So you can. Everybody always says they have the same floor, even though there's two different compartments, they have the same floor. Now, on the first ascending passage, they've got, you know, wooden planks that the government's put in there, and it might be hard, but, you know, if you take a wood, if, let's say this is the surface we're measuring, but you put a wooden plank on it, if that's totally down, you're going to get about the same measure of measuring the plank as you would get if you were doing that, but still, it's, it's not going to be perfect. So sure. anyways, I was going to at least have my own data, because again, I got Rob Criley telling me, who did, who triangulated and everything, it's 26.5. Well, the 26, 18, 10 is 26.3. Hmm. That's what led me to think, I, okay, I checked out, to my satisfaction now, it is, the, the Great Pyramid does point 26 degrees to Bethlehem. That's a given to me. That's a fact now. I accept that. But tomorrow, that's one of the pieces of research we're going to do. What is that actual angle? Perfect. Because if that's different than 20, it might be that because of shifting and stuff, it might be a little different. And we're going to get the numbers on it. So anyway, so that's, that's tomorrow. So I've said that. So um, 